Hi everyone, it's Karen. I'm in the backyard. And right now I'm just uh, looking at these beautiful double, double petal balloon flowers, which is, um, yes, kind of new to the garden and kind of special. They actually have two layers, the balloon and then the petals that have already opened. So violet, the color of this purple is always just the violet energy that brings transformation and forgiveness. And most oftentimes the balloon flower is just a single, single blossom. But this particular plant, which I didn't plan here, this was a, a gift from the nature angels. This, this particular flower has the double petals. So we're, having, we're getting double the energy from from our higher selves, letting us connect to the beyond so that we can transform old hurts, old memories, and forgive. It's always about transformation and forgiveness. But the nature angels actually asked me to come out here to talk about a beautiful lily plant that grows in this garden. It's called the leopard lily. And I am gonna pause this film because I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna insert a picture of what these uh, lilies look like. They're really pretty. They have spots on them and they're different from all the other lilies. As you can see, they have kind of spiky leaves, but the, um, and they grow very tall. They get to be like five feet tall. So the um, nature angels have been helping me. There is a red beetle bug that will completely devour this plant leaves, the flowers, so there's nothing left but a stalk. I did connect with the, the deva of the red beetle bugs because um, depending on the intelligence, you know, of insects, you could just say that the, um, they have like one, one drive. One drive is to, to eat, reproduce, and that's it. That's, that's their whole goal in life. But they eat the leaves they devour the leaves, like so there's nothing left, there's no plant left, the plant doesn't survive. So when I asked the Deva angel of this red beetle bug, you know, why, why they do this? The response I got back was that, well, they don't touch the seeds, the seeds of the plant. So I'm just gonna slowly move the camera over here to show you what the seeds look like. Uh, so I'm not quite in focus at this point. That little black dot, these little, no, it's not a dot, that, that is a seed. So um, when the plant is growing, it will produce a seed almost with every leaf. So this is why the plant doesn't really die, but it doesn't eat flower either. It doesn't flower, I don't get to enjoy the beauty of it. So I, um, you know, I was like deciding, you know, I looked it up, deciding how to, you know, learned about these red beetle bugs and you know, how to control them, which you really can't, other than like taking them off the plant and basically killing them, which of course um, could go against people's beliefs, you know, because every creature is a creation of God, you know, from source. And, um, you, know, you know, like what gives us the right to kill something. So again, I, I had a conflict with that, but then I also asked for a message about that. And the message I got with that is that we're all energy, we're all source energy, and everything, plants, animals, us. So, um, and, and energy can't be extinguished. So even if you kill an insect, the, en the energy is still there and it will come back again as something different. So when I kill one of these bugs, I say to, my, say to them, as I say out loud, I say, you know, um, thank you for bringing me a message because everything brings us a message. Thank you for bringing me a message and uh, come back as something more beautiful that we can admire. So this is what I tell them. So I just wanna show you about these bugs. But first I'm gonna um, just pause the film for a second because I want to put in a picture of what these lilies look like when they are in full bloom. So I'll be right back. So you've seen what these beautiful flowers look like. And I've kind of zoomed in because I just want to show you 
this is really zoomed in. Now those black dots you see on the leaf, that's half eaten, it's more than half eaten, completely gone. Those are the larvae of the red beetle bugs. They lay their eggs on the leaf and then the, they hatch and of course they just start eating and eating and eating and they'll devour the plant and as soon as they, um, you know, morphite, <laughs> go from their larva stage to the, their flying beetle stage, they, um, they find a mate and they complete they do the cycle all over again. So they can destroy these plants like every year, every year. So this is what they look like. Um, the larva is not, it's not really the larva. I'm, I'm going to um, explain to you how these bugs work. As they eat the leaves, they cover themselves with their own feces. They just put it all around their body, which kind of might act as a protective shield. And um, it's, uh, you know, they get gross, they get kind of big. And, um, and everything, everything is a metaphor. Everything in life is a metaphor. So if you have bugs, I'm gonna zoom out a tiny bit. If you have bugs, they're bringing you a message. And red beetle bugs, like let's go back to our beautiful purple flowers, which bring us transformation and forgiveness. But um, the red beetle bugs are uh, connecting us with our root chakra. So the root chakra is uh, everything that we hold on to, our ancestors. It's kind of where our fight flight lives, you know, it's like where the fear lives. So if uh, you're having something from your own like ancestry your own fears that are coming up and they're devouring something beautiful so this is like a message that you need to clear out of your body and with the red beetle bugs they um just <laughs> the way they grow is I'm, I'm gonna i'm going to just uh use some curse words so if you have a you have, you have like a child nearby you might want to lower the volume you know pause this for a moment just so that they don't start hearing me use the s-h-i-t word <laughs> because that's what i'm going to be saying in uh, just a minute so i'll just give you a moment to pause the recording you know so that you're if you have a little child they don't hear it but okay hopefully you've done that and i'm just going to continue so the you know the red beetle bugs they cover themselves with their own shit so <laughs> It's like, okay, what, what are we allowing? What is the shit that we are allowing in our lives? You know, that is our own shit, you know, that has, um, you know, been with us throughout our life. So um, there's a couple expressions, you know, that come with the word shit. Like you could say, you look like shit, you know, and that means that you're not looking really good or you feel like shit. So that means you're not really feeling very good. So, um, you know, this is where you got to do a little bit of soul searching, you know, soul searching about where you're not happy in life, you know, like where you feel stagnant in life and what's holding you back. So it's like uh, sometimes it's easy to figure out and sometimes it's not so easy. You might know what's bugging you, you know, you might know what's bothering you. You just don't know how to change the situation. And, and that's the hardest part, you know, about the trust. Trust that you can change it, transformation that you could change it. Um, so this is, this is why it is, it's just like, this is why it is difficult to actually evolve because you have to really do some inner work, you know, searching your, you know, your soul, connecting, understanding what, what so many things that have happened throughout your entire life that gets buried in your subconscious that's still there you know all sorts of programming ways to behave it's all stored there and this could be preventing you from what you want to do now so this is why it's so important we can always say i forgive you know help me let go um but sometimes we gotta really face what's bothering us you know face it recognize it Thank it. It's always important to thank it. Thank it for um, serving you because at one point it kept you safe, you know, safe and secure, but now it's holding you back. So basically you just have to do the soul work, this, you know, self-healing, or it could be called shadow work. So it's just like you, you have to do this in order to clear it. If you don't clear it, it doesn't go away. I mean, sometimes it goes away on its own, but sorry, but most times it doesn't. So this is where the work comes in. 
and it's always good to work with energy you know like the uh, crown chakra is at the opposite end of the root chakra but the crown chakra you know being purple is made of both the colors red and blue and the root chakra being red and blue being your truth makes this purple color this violet color so this is um this is just you know the energy work you want to do and if you don't understand about chakras there's so much information you could just look up if you want to receive an energy healing session from me I will be happy to offer it to you. The, um, the energy, you know, of course, it's always finding whatever's for your highest and best, you know, like where you want the change in your life to be. And this is what I do. I bring this energy from the divine to you so that you can receive it and so that you can feel this transformation. So please reach out to me, reach out to me. Um, I'm gonna put my website at the bottom of this screen. It's Karen freehand.com and I would just uh, love to be able to help you because we really don't want to be stuck we want to be able to evolve we want to be able to move on to do what our heart desires so thank you for listening to this video thank you for watching it I know it's not the most interesting thing to see but um, it was an important lesson that the nature angels wanted me to share with you so um, I'll see you next time bye for now